You might have seen I um, was slewing my telescope around just to make sure that I wasn't having any issues with the telescopes hitting the mount itself um, if it slewed all the way across. That was one of the problems I had to watch out for um, with using my larger bar. Now, as you can see, this is the size of the, uh, the larger bar compared to the smaller one. It's it's quite a, quite a big difference. So I'm hoping that uh, just by going to the smaller bar. Um, things will be uh, better aligned and I don't have to worry about the telescopes hitting them out if it's slewing all the way across. Um, tonight I'm going to make a few changes with the, uh, the Nina software because um, I really want to get this Meridian flip right. Uh, so I'm going to allow the Meridian um, to take a little bit longer um, to change over compared to last time when it was only, um, only allowed for a few minutes and for some reason it would go back to the um, to where it was meant to shoot, plate solve, and then it went to realign because it was slightly out of tolerance, and all of a sudden it just went haywire. <laughs> um, it went on a mission to go somewhere else, and I have no idea where that mission was because I turned off the mount because the telescopes were going to hit the uh, the tripod. So, big reason as to why I've um, also changed the uh, the size of my my plate. Um, yeah, fingers crossed everything goes well tonight. Uh, I really want to get all this teething stuff um, right before I take it underneath some dark skies because as you guys know, I like to travel to my dark sites and there's no point traveling to dark sites if you haven't got the system running 100%. Um, so yeah, sorry if the videos have sucked a little bit, you know, no real adventures sort of going on, um, just adventures in the backyard. All right, well, we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit darker and the, uh, the clouds seem to be uh, clearing up a little bit. We've got about a 50% um, or just under 50% moon, uh, which I don't mind imaging um, when there's a moon about when you're testing uh, equipment out. So that's all good. Uh, yeah, rambling a bit. So I'll cut it off here and we'll wait till it gets a bit darker. So I've just finished setting everything up ready for the uh, tonight's imaging session. Um, can I, I'm just going to say that the Celestron CPWI software for these mounts is just unreal. I'm, I'm loving it. The more I go out there and use it, the more I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm finding it really easy to uh, set up all my reference points, all my stars and slew to, and, uh, and then just using the cameras to find that star and center it. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't missed the ASI Air Pro system at all. I thought I might have. Um, to me, it was a bit of a risk going to that system because I just found it so easy to use, but I'm really enjoying how it's all set up now. I'm using the Eagle Pro 4. I'm sorry, Eagle 4, not Eagle Pro, Eagle 4. I've got to, uh, got to remember that. Um, yeah, so now I'm really enjoying that. The other massive improvement has been the shorter bar. Um, someone asked me in a video, I can't remember who you were, so sorry, but uh, am I getting any flex um, with the larger uh, Los Mandy bar? And the question is, yes, I was getting a little bit of flex and it was making it hard to try and um, get those two rasses sitting directly on the same target. Um, one was sitting one was sitting a little bit higher than the other and it was, it was difficult, but uh, now, with the shorter bar, everything's just bang on. Um, had to uh, make a couple of slight alterations with them because I have modified this bar so the um, uh, the plates can uh, go in and out or the rasses can go in and out. Um, so I just slightly tweaked it and uh, and it's a big difference on the other um, larger bar that I used to have. So everything is pretty much up and ready to run. 
Um, fingers crossed we uh, we get a good night. So far, so good. It is really still. Um, it's, it's I have to say it's perfect conditions. And uh, touch wood, we have a uh, we have a great imaging night session. So let's hope I don't jinx myself too much. But uh, I'm going to get this session started and uh, see what we end up coming up with. So. Like always, I'll report back to you towards the end of this video. Well guys, I'm just uh, reporting back on uh, tonight's imaging session and I think it's uh, gone really well. I've captured in total about 500 frames, um, 250 from each rasa. Well, I've actually captured about 270 from each rasa, but I know there's going to be a few that I might be thrown away. So uh, about 250 each, so it's about 500 images. Um, the Meridian flip kind of went well but kind of didn't. Um, it flipped and everything, but when it went to plate solve, a uh, um, shot, the first plate solve was fine. Um, it went to, uh, uh, it was a little bit out, so it went to realign itself, um, do a second plate solve, and then that just sort of hung a bit. It just couldn't find the stars for some reason. So um, cancelled that and uh, and went on with the imaging session. So um, yeah, it's almost fully automated, um, ready for me to be able to take a, a good night's sleep. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm starting to get pretty tired. It's just after 4 a.m. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, pretty tired, but uh, pretty happy with how everything's gone on. Um, so this is gonna be the final, final image um, basically from these uh, three videos that I've been putting, putting up of the running chicken. Um, it's not quite the full um, field of view of the running chicken, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with, uh, with how it's gone, how these test shots have all gone, because uh, next new moon period, um, I'm gonna be out there under some dark skies starting my, uh, my project. Uh, yeah, so with all that being said, I think this could be, this final image could be somewhere around 800 to 1,000 images stacked. Um, so, be interested to see how that looks. And hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> Alright, well, if you're new to this, uh, this channel, please check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy them, subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big uh, thumbs up. And uh, if you've got any questions, just leave a, leave a comment. And uh, I'll go back to you when I can. All right, as you can tell, I am just super, super tired. So I'm going to call it a night. And uh, until next time, guys, take it easy. See you.